guys! So today I have this fun dark brown lip look and this is inspired by Gigi Hadid and that is the look I'm going off of. She's got a very nice winged eyeliner and some deep chocolate brown lips so I've recreated that look and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm embracing this lion hair I've got going on. I fell asleep with my hair in a French braid, I did double French braids, so it's like super tight and wavy, but yeah, we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to start off with some concealer. I just came home from work, and I was feeling like doing some makeup, and whenever I go to work, I usually, if I work really early in the morning, I just put some foundation on and leave it at that. So, all I have on is foundation right now, but I'm going to start with the Maybelline Master Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to put some of this on the back of my hand because it's a little squeezy too. And I'm going to highlight with this. So, putting it in the shape of a triangle. Up the tip of my nose. And onto my forehead. I like a little right here as well. Okay. Okay. And then taking a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to start blending that out. Next step is to set that under eye concealer. And I'm using the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette and I'm mixing this light color and the banana color. Gigi always has a really fierce brow, so I'm going to take the Anastasia Soft Brown Duo Powder, and I usually use the lightest shade, but her eyebrows are a little bit darker than mine, so I'm actually going to mix them a little bit. I'm going to mainly use this lighter color and then just take a little bit of the darker brown. And I'm just going to fill them in. You can keep the same shape she has, or you can kind of follow your own shape. I'm just going to take a spoolie and kind of run this through my eyebrows and kind of brush them up and in the direction I want. Her eyebrows are always slightly messed up. They're never like 100% perfect. So you can kind of just get them in the general shape you want them. As always, we're going to start by priming our eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, as always. Gigi's eyeshadow looks like it is a matte look, so I'm going to essentially be using the Naked Basics palette for my look. And the first color I'm going to use is Naked 2, this taupey, medium-toned brown. But I'm also going to mix this with Swiss Chocolate from MAC. I feel like it's going to give that perfect color that she's got in her crease. So I'm just going to start by applying this throughout the crease and I'm really going to smoke it out to get the same kind of look she's got going. She doesn't look like she takes it too much higher than about here. So I'm going to really try and oops, keep it in this general area but still give it that blended smoky look. There's a piece of fuzz on my brush. She even takes it out a little bit this way in the look. She's got a pretty light muted brown off-white kind of color in the on the lid. So I'm going to take Max Camel Coat Paint Pot. Sorry about that. And I'm just going to apply this lightly on my lid as a base. And this is going to set the lid to be almost exactly like the color she's got on. So once we have that on, I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush like so, and I'm going to take WOS and Naked 2 and mix those two colors to get the color I put on my crease. So the picture kind of looks like she's got a liquid eyeliner on, but I'm not the biggest liquid eyeliner fan, so definitely choose whatever you're going to create the best line with. If liquid is your thing, go ahead and apply that. In my opinion, liquid and gel look similar enough that you can't really see a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Little Black Dress Cream Eyeliner, and I'm taking this on a Makeup Forever 250, which is just a eyeliner brush. 
and she's got a nice wing and a pretty thick line so I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my surprise it does not look like Gigi has any fake lashes on which I don't know why it would completely kill the look but considering that we are trying to stick to the look she has I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to really curl them since she's not wearing any lashes. For mascara, I'm going to layer two mascaras. So I'm going to use the Dior Show mascara as the base. And then I'm going to top that off with the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. It looks like that. I'm going to move on to my bottom lash now, and I'm going to take Naked 2, that light taupey brown color we had, and I'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to come in with a black pencil liner. This is just the e.l.f. Brightening Eyeliner Pencil in black, I think. And she looks as though she has a very light layer on the bottom lash line of mascara, so I'm just taking this e.l.f. little mini mascara and I'm just going to lightly touch over my eyelashes once with these. Gigi's face is half covered with her hair, but from what I can see in the photo, she doesn't have a strong contour going. She's got more of a bronzy glow, so I'm just going to take Sunny from NYC and a brush like so, and we're going to do the 3V motion. I decided that bronzy glow just wasn't doing it for me, so I'm actually going to switch brushes and bronzer just to make it a little more glowy and bronzy. So now I'm using a Sigma F15 in Hoola. I'm going to do the same thing. For blush, it looks like she has almost a mauve kind of color on her cheeks, so I'm going to use Desert Rose from MAC, which looks like that, perfect mauve, and it looks like it's really focused right on the apples of her cheeks, so I'm going to focus it there and kind of blend back. Now, Gigi's contour is not super concentrated, it's not crazy noticeable, however, she does have that glowy look. So I'm going to take Pearl from Becca, and I'm just going to lightly apply this in the spots that I want to glow. I'm not going to heavily apply this because I don't want it to be the main point of this look. She's got a little right on the tip of her nose, right on the high points of her cheek. Looks like she's got a little down here and a little up here. As I said, she is glowing. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of this right on the inner tear duct and I'm going to blend that out. Okay, here comes the fun part, the lips. I'm going to take Subculture from MAC and just lightly line my lips. And then the star of the show today is going to be the NYX Matte Lipstick in Mason. Okay guys, this is the finished Gigi inspired makeup. I hope you guys liked this and if you have any other requests, let me know and I will be sure to get to them. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!